Right, Snack, Bone Collector, Spartan Orc, Cry. The Snack is not going to let me down. I'm going to get agility every per level. It's going to happen. Devotion or Evasion, Raise Dead, Carm Beatles, Evasion. Let's go. There we go. It's the start. The beginning. Of the Aji train. Perhaps you should be able to put in your preferred stat at the beginning of the game. So it knows which ones to give you the higher chance. Steven. Look at him go yelling about them pigs again. Hmm. Come on, do are them? Yep. Yuppers. Are you just guessing that monsoon is overpowered? Permanent immolation is where it doesn't cost you mana. It's not bad. I was hoping for more Aji per level. I don't know. What do you think they're gonna rush? Maybe you I can start slowly stacking up the life steal for the face, long game. Woody Wood, Warcraft free. Thank you very much there for the hundred bits. Thank you very much, kindly for supporting. I really kind of need to stack up more agility or get some abilities. I wasn't just gonna die to the boss. Makes me sad. Or if I get him Venom Spears as an ability, that could help me kill the boss, maybe. Or I wouldn't be able to otherwise. Overclock bet 89k against you. How does he have 89k to bet? Also, how do you even win? Thunderclap, True Shot Aura, Serpent Ward. He also says True Shot Aura. Getting the big damage now. If I don't beat week one. Yeah. Stylo, when are you going to make Balanced Hero Survival 2? Stylo edition. This guy's still got a good chunk of mana. What? 
Dai. Wakata. One, not so much. Uh, hey. I really need him venom though, or something, because the boss is still going to kill me. Or I might just have to get a summon just to get past the boss. Give it's offered to me. Let's get this guy down. And then we have only the small amount of damage coming in from those. I can probably tank a little bit. And soak up with the shimmer glares. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, if this actually goes onto YouTube, then thumbs up the video. Old Witty will appreciate it. Twitch.tv slash Witty to subscribe over there as well. If you've got Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free by linking your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. And Patreon.com slash Witty Warcraft. Witty is the guy you're watching. Uh, might have to be the base damage just because that will impact those two. Because I don't want the rest. See, Nick knows. Now it's time to die. There's a paladin, so no problem. I can kill those. Unless he does that. That cripple's actually like removing all of my damage. Ah, uh, there it is. Yep. Don't have much of a choice. These should have like 100 health or something, so I can actually kill them. Otherwise, I've just got a kite. And then, uh... Any damage the base takes from the... Oh, I can't even turn around and attack now. Because they're doing too much damage to me. Oof. He's surrounded by his own summons. Kill these as well. Okay. <laughs> Overclock loses. I haven't done a snake impression yet. Times one point two and agility. Uh, I'll take the experience rate because I've got some agility per level. I'm going to be so squishy though. But you got to do what you got to do. 420. Now you got to subscribe for that. Come on. What are you doing? You're sitting out there. You're not subscribed yet. Not thumbs up the video yet. What are you even doing with your life? Let's take the strength per level because that will give me health back. That's really good. Oh, 
Oh, he's got loads of damage, this guy. And 1600 health, so that's nice. Huh, <laughs> can't actually kill him. I better hope these give me enough experience to level up. Why is he doing so much damage? Is this a boss level again? He's got as much range as I do, so I can't outrange him. And he's fast. He's getting like one hit every time I turn around. Almost. That ghoul will actually eat the ogre if I kill the ogre first. Come on, level me up. Otherwise, I don't know how I kill this guy. Oh, there we go. That's going to help. Jumped from 420 to 500. Got some healing, but not much. Just have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for a little while. And then heal up. I've got aphasia, that helps. Chase me around. Oh man, that was a long range hit. Oof. I wasn't expecting that extra hit. That puts me back a bit, because I wanted to come closer to the pillar to heal, but now I can't. That damage is intense. There goes the pillar healing. Good levels from that, though. Santa's always trying to ruin everything. Feedback versus the mana boys. If they have mana. Everything else is a no-go. Acid Bomb's fine. It does do minus armor, which helps my auto attack. So I guess... Poc uh, not Pox Factory. Why do I... Acid Bomb... Pocket for tank, kind of. But you, I feel like you have to go summons for that because it's just going to get killed later on. I feel like it'll just get killed too quickly. Oh my god, Taylor Swift. 51 months, thank you for supporting the channel. First subscription of the day. 51 months, almost 8 years subbed. I don't have to cancel my Twitch or YouTube account just yet. Acid Bomb works with me because it does damage to distract them. Keep them aggroed if I need to. But also to help me do my damage. Which could work if I can get lifesteal as well at some point. Be a bit worried about increasing the difficulty, because I'm not really... Although, to be fair, I've got the experience now, so that should compensate. So I could increase the difficulty. I hope. Hmm. Maybe just base damage. Based damage. Well, you can spend all gold for times 1.6 1, 1. base damage, which is quite a lot, actually. Nick has already done the calculations in his head. A little bit of life steal, maybe. I don't know whether it's worth going for the big boys. They do the most damage, but it's hard to go to, to kill them quickly because they've got the most health as well. Uh oh. Don't get the aggro on that guy.
Let's take the base damage. Based damage. Polar boy doing a lot more damage than the others. That's not too bad, actually. I think. I can't afford it, though. Anywhere close to it. Unless I take the Power Staff and sell it. But Power Staff is like 3,000. Doesn't it sell for like 2,800? So I'm pretty sure I still won't have enough gold to buy that anyway. Oh, yeah. Got to take the crit in here. Attack cooldown is nice, too. I think you have to take crit because I've got the damage. You do it. Felt like the stun was coming in. Cleave doesn't work, and everything else doesn't. Death and Decay, maybe, just because it's percentage damage. That could be the secret OP. Although, to be fair, it's only like 4%, isn't it? Maybe Pocket Factory this time, just to uh, get something off my back. Damage. I've already got evasion. Yeah, Pocket Factory can just absorb a hit as well from the bigger characters. Which can be worth it. Go call. It's doing some pretty good distracting at the moment. Cheese, grommet. Anti magic shell is actually pretty damn tempting. What are that base damage? Anti-magic shells, really good. What do you think, Nick? Anti-magic shell, it's fully up... Well, it's 300 damage absorbed. Maybe just damage. And then get life steal somehow. That's if I survive long enough. The snack has spoken.
Oh, that damage. It's really kicking in, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to take this now. I know you probably want that one as well, but I've still got some stats to go. No, 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 no. OC lost another 70k. <laughs> He's going to have nothing left soon. This is worth it just for overclocked. In case you weren't aware, like I mentioned, I stream live at twitch.tv slash witty. Let's see if we can do that, shall we? Twitch.tv slash witty. Come and say hello. Support the channel. There it is. Twitch.tv slash witty. We have um, the bets going on. And you get these greed points just for watching the channel. They're kind of like um, Monopoly money in a way. It's just for fun. Well, 1% of you think that I'm going to win. Whereas 99% of you think I'm going to lose. Seems like pretty rough odds, doesn't it? To get through another week. 70,000 greed coins is on the line at the moment. Crazy. Ye of little faith. I'm going to push it even more. Push my luck even more. Subscribe. What about that? <laughs> if I have a message that big, just going like this constantly. All right. Now I say regen 56 strength is a lot. Bonus health. Does that actually give health to each of the summons? Not just the factory itself, but the little boys themselves? Because that's actually pretty worth it. I reckon if that does, yeah, I think that's pretty worth it. So these bad boys should come out with way more health. Yep, they do. Okay. I mean, that spell shield's kind of tempting. It's kind of pricey for what it is. If you don't get too many mana abilities, then you can sort of coast on Vial of Mana. I think we take the reduced attack cooldown. Could ban overclocked. When was the last time I banned him? Got some real big damage on this bad boy. Getting the uh, commander on true shot is like the wombo combo. just stack on each other. <laughs> They're all pretty awful. What about the Surf Award and I get that blue flag and sell the bottom two items in my inventory? Then I'm getting a lot of damage for minimum item space. That could be worth it. Unholy Aura, maybe, just for movement speed as well. Yeah, maybe Unholy Aura. Go on, let's get it out of the way. I don't know about this. 
guess. Yeah. Here comes the stones. We need a bit of life steal now, don't we? 200 experience thing, yeah, it's not always there. It is super good, though. Oh, Steven. I think we've got to upgrade all abilities now. I've got all of them. It's hands down the best one. Second relic isn't. I've got two abilities. Oh, I don't know. Hesitant. Could have taken that. Going for the ones that I think have like the most health, which probably means they got the most damage as well. Reduce damage taken from ranged attacks received from free. Oh, I think I'm going to take that. Uh, you don't need this now. That's I've already got enough. <laughs> it's capped anyway, isn't it? If it wasn't capped, I'd probably take it. But it's capped at level 100, sadly, because overclocked hates fun. Sobe mask, those sell for like 300, so in this they probably sell for like 220 or something like that. So that's about 1600 gold or something. Those are really bad. I could just take those for the sake of it, but then I have to protect them. Yeah, all of those rewards are bad. That's rough. Summon damage for the goblins. You know. Go on then. The masks you can sell, but I don't have anything to buy at the moment, do I really? Losing 50% of my health now is quite rough. What did I tell you about backseat gaming, Chicha? What did I say? that lie still now. I think we go with the base damage. Or just bonus health for pillar. You could reduce the mob difficulty, but I still feel like I'm okay. Spend all gold. That's... I don't know, actually. I've only got 3,300 left to spend. Yeah, that's definitely the one, then. Definitely easily the one. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Got 
couple of stunners. Almost got their war tunnel mentals down. They do 74 plus 10 damage. Okay. Gotta get the gloves, I suppose. Bit more base damage. I still need this lifesteal, though. Damage or armor. The agility plus 5 actually is kind of not that important. Considering how much agility I'm getting per level now. The same goes for this thing. This boss time. Illidan. More like Illidunk. He's dropping the hammer. I'm the true agility, agility champ here. I suppose, yeah, we've got the agility cap, haven't we? So Gloves of Haste doesn't really do anything. We've got the Claws of Attack. In a way, I should probably take the mob, minus mob difficulty, but I get gold from them. So I don't need to reduce... I just need... Life steal. He just needs to give me life steal, then increase the difficulty, then reduce the difficulty. Yeah, you could take the armor. That's not terrible. Movement speed's also nice for like kiting. I'll actually lean on my movement speed. Gotta go fast. Upgrade all abilities. It has to be that. The other ones are good though. Those were all good choices. Or well, two of them specifically were good choices, but you have to take everything here. That's just overall improvement. I see a siege. Turn brain off with agility. It's nice. There's a lot to look at there. I don't want to think. Mm. You can repair the pillar, I think. <gasps> there it is. This should be pretty big. Restores 500 health. Did he steal that from your map, Nick? I wonder if I should buy some of these. You could actually buy these just to keep your gold down, and then there might be a spend all gold, but I'm hesitant to go too crazy, because getting an extra plus one agility, whatever, it's not going to make too much difference. Oh, the pocket factory's getting wrecked. I don't know, Fire Eyes. You have to ask one of the mathematicians. I think. Oh, attack cooldown. Or do I just. I feel like you should just take, take life steal at every opportunity. Attack cooldown can come in the future, and it will always get down to a point where it'll be too low, or you won't be able to get much. I think attack cooldown technically stronger, but for the real long run, I think life steal stronger. To stack up as much as possible on life steal. Now it's seven percent. Oh, it's eight percent actually. I disagree. Attack cooldown is super, definitely the better choice. But I know you can get attack cooldown options later on, as well. We do tend to. Life still doesn't come up quite so much. 
I want sustain from my bad boy. From a snack. Snack rejuvenation. Reptile rejuvenation. Acid bonds more to aggro in a way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the plus spell damage. Plus 20% return base damage. Return damage. For t a pillar. Oh, base damage. Oh, of course, base damage. But base damage has got so crazy now. Does 43 make a much of a difference? <laughs> I guess this is not worth it. But I was thinking of that to protect. I think we'll take the base damage. Yeah, we don't need the gloves, do we? I could have taken the fire hand gauntlets, actually. I didn't have enough time to register that. They're kind of like attack percentage based. Not super useful, though. Or neither. Time to sell these two items as well at some point. Well, now you can do that one. Deal 35% bonus attack damage if your hero has 25 armor or more. That's the easy, yeah. Should be quite the cheeky one. Should be quite cheeky. Subscribe. Thumbs up the video if you're still watching at this point. Just gentle reminder. If you haven't pressed that button, just press the thumbs up button. It helps out a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you kindly. That was clean. He's got more strength per level, actually, than agility. Although agility is somewhat of a dead stat now, because you've reached the cap. It looks like the attack cooldown. You could even take the Tynes 1.5 strength. Because it's just like a one-off to get, like, 200 strength or something like that. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? I'm leaning towards that one, baby. Do you need more health? I think it's just kind of a protection thing for if they stun me or something. So I don't die so quickly. Yeah. The attack cooldown can come with time. That's a huge amount of strength to get in one click. Versus 8% attack cooldown. That's a huge amount. Just casually get like 220 strength tomes or something. Go, Justin. There's so many mobs there now. I was worried about the pillar not being protected. Dirty Pigeon with the subscription with Prime Gaming. That's the Amazon Prime one you can do for free. Thank you very much there for supporting the channel. items. Oh, how many levels have I got? I only got like, um, I did say the edgy is not so important. I've got like 30 plus more levels to go, and I? So 30 plus 6 times 6, 180 extra agility. It's 180 damage, basically. 
an extra 180 damage. Oh no, I haven't. I'm level 84. Wow. Okay, it's not quite that much. It's a shame there is a cap. Feels sad. Death claws out of here. But what? Don't you kill that pillar? Oh, intelligence per level. No, not quite so much. Uh, we can take the minus. Even I technically, I don't really need it that much. But there's nothing else that greedy to pick here. So, I think that's it. And then I can just increase the mob difficulty with other picks, or the attack cooldown picks. Do I do this one? Dealing 200 spell damage plus 100. I don't have that much. Oh, there we go. Firehand gauntlets. No, don't even have it. He's got 724 strength. He's a happy snack. about 20-ish health per hit. Well, it takes them all the way to the top, so I'm not sure exactly. Man, our item is useless. How dare you. Ooh, Claws of Frenzy. Now that's a goosh one. Although, it doesn't matter so much. Oh, there it is, boys. Claws of Frenzy. Gotta buy it. Stack and attack speed. Does this do anything for me though now? Or have I already reached the attack speed? Does this give me extra attack speed on top of my stacked maxed attack speed? Like the unique effect. Oh, it is plus damage, isn't it? Two stacking damage per hit. So you get an extra 200 damage from that item at the moment. For now. Oh. Ha <laughs> 23. The gauntlet will kill me. 23% spiral damage. In before, spend all of your gold for 1.5 times strength or agility. Hey, excuse me. There's always a siege. Can we just remove siege? So a fair point, Mr. Nick. Aha! Uh -huh. It was one of those ones. Oh my gosh. Arr. That's pretty <laughs> That's pretty big. It's huge. Where's the siege? Does that count as siege? Not gonna tell. I like the acid bomb because it can just get their aggro and stop them from one shot in the pocket factory or something. Just for that brief moment, distracts them. Acid bomb's very good, it's got good range. Seems like an instant piss them off kind of thing. Berserker Spear is super good, right? 
Like, that's like mega OP to keep me alive. If I ever get below 50% health, for whenever that might happen. Movement speed, yes. So I can just get around quicker. I can't afford it anyway, the Berserker Spear, so... Unless you get rid of this for it. I'd have to drop... I would have to sell too much. 3,000. I don't think it's enough, no. I can't remove the shield, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the shield is still like an absolute you keep, no matter what. Harshest thing would be getting like stun locked now. Seven strength. Per level. I mean, how many levels is there left to go? May as well just do times one point two strength. That's insane. If I could keep going, but yeah, that's, I'm I'm already capped in my now. Or you could just take the sim HP on summons. Honestly, I think that's still bonkers. Considering how much strength I got, that's twenty percent more of my strength. And my strength is like seven hundred. So 70, 140 more strength. Mm. Yeah. Summon health then. How much money does Overclocked owe me now? Siege. That's what I was looking for. What if you could put items on the pillar? Upgrade all abilities. Deities. Maybe there should be like unlimited levels, but it just gets really hard to level up. Like it requires a crazy amount of experience to level up. There's two of them. Sani. That one might stun down here. So I'm going to try to kill him quick. I'm stunned. Bash procs from the water mental. Santa Claus, the Blade Master, is going down. Santa Claus is coming to town. This reduces my attack cooldown, actually. Oh, yeah. Upgrade all abilities. Plus four armor. Maybe. Getting close. The mist of red. These are some angry boys. Do you mind? Why are you ignoring the factory? This is why I hate the siege, because you have to go out your way to fucking get them.
That's easier said than done, Nick. Because it depends where the siege is, but yeah. I'll do this on the east hand side, then I'll say. Oh, Jody. My man. My man. I wouldn't have taken that anyway, Chicho. There's the hero stats at the moment. Why have I got to babysit this rubbish pillar? I don't think the pillar benefits from Unholy Aura. If it does, it's super slow. Okay, I've got to get the upgrade all abilities. White numbers everywhere. Uh, <laughs> None of that does much. I guess you just take the minus mob difficulty. But I'm not too worried at the moment. Other than their ability to just whack out and take down the pillar. Close enough that they don't finish off the pocket factory in a way. There we go. I keep spending that gold. That's a big one. That's a strong snack. Big snake. We're not worried about the summon damage, we're more worried about the summon health. Pretty big. Great all abilities. Isn't there going to be a point where I cap on a great all abilities? Almost tempted for the movement speed, honestly. Just so I can get back and forth. That's kind of almost the highest priority now. Oh, he's at 522 movement speed. So I guess he's already capped. Didn't feel like I was that fast beforehand. It's like I suddenly just massively jumped. Can't get any quicker than that. So I can't even do that anymore. Look at him. He's literally flying now.
Yeah, I didn't think I was that close to the cap, honestly. I stand by my decision. Hmm. No, I guess you do upgrade all abilities on the life steal. Get to the point where my ability... Oh, I suppose the upgraded abilities helps the pocket factory a little bit more. Entangle. Down for the count, boys. Huh. I got a lot of gold, though. But holy crap, that's a lot of agility as well. That's the one. Because that kind of just gets stronger and stronger as well, the more you put into it. My guy's pretty strong now. Pretty powerful. What a wonderful, wonderful Christmas snack. my boy this might be the rest of the stream mm. mana regen is just for healing on the pillar though isn't it I don't even need that so much I've got healing from my own auto attacks really the imp per level yeah pretty soon I won't even be able to take upgrade all abilities this is reduce your attack cooldown I think the Claws of Frenzy is kind of weak now. Not that I can actually do much about it. I should have dropped it on the ground actually instead of selling it straight away. Frost armor doesn't help you. There's definitely less mobs to kill now. I've been reducing the mob difficulty. I won't sell the gloves yet, because I can always sell those after I spend gold. Spend all gold. There you go. Or you could just do attack cooldown here, to be honest. Let's do attack cooldown. This is the Berserker Spear. That can always keep coming back up. I'm still not in danger, stranger danger. The pillar's more in stranger danger than I am. So as good as that is. I love that movement speed. This increases the health. I'd actually probably buy that. <laughs> Just anything to keep the summons alive now. Upgrade minus difficulty. I was honestly wondering, just anything to buff up the pillar. Make the pillar super capable of handling itself, in case for some reason something happens to me.
I wonder that 20% can keep going. So you can get it up to like 300% if you can keep upgrading it. Killed him before he could give the uh, animation off a hell boulder. Times two base damage. Oh, do I dare to lose 12,000 health? I think we have to. <laughs> That's so crazy. 6,000 damage. Killer's getting armor as well, actually, which helps a lot. With this, he's got under one attack cooldown. Then it's 1.5. Gonna get his attack cooldown down to zero. Speaking of which... I didn't actually check the pillar that time. Maybe it's for the best, because I can't necessarily afford the items. Don't want to get disappointed. He's not messing around, just a casual 25k crit. Definitely got to reduce the damage, the difficulty, quite a lot of times. Seventeen crowns. <laughs> That's a lot of crowns. could just buy something, because sometimes, even if it's something you don't want, just to take the hit, you lose like 800 gold or something. Oh my god, it's quacking. Nice try, Mr. Soul Slayer. Get a cheeky hit on that pillar. I guess in the boss level I need to keep the factory a bit closer. Well, that's the only one to take, to be honest. The others do nothing. Look at his intelligence. 191. So smart, so stunning, so brave. 28% lifesteal now. Oh, a new type of mist. Does that mean it's getting serious now? Serious gold. How can you even spend this much gold? Like I say, I almost should just keep buying items just to drop them on the ground. Uh, that's all rubbish. I can take the summons just for the sake of it. Spell damage, though. That's massive. They're quite small, actually, so that's okay. Buy books. There's intelligence at the moment.
The lower the difficulty, though, the faster you can push in the weeks, in a way. <laughs> I'll definitely take the attack cooldown. Actually, to be fair, the health for the pillar... That's the one time... Why did that have to come at the same time as the attack cooldown? I wish I could increase the range of my hero as well. If I could increase the range of the hero, that'd be insane. Just stick him in the middle. I think I had to take the health. Just because I don't think I've seen that very often. And that will obviously stack if I see another one. Get more health than me. I have these ever so slightly not too close to the pillar, just because if there's siege, it doesn't splash onto the pillar. GG. Lightning Javelin, is there any point? I'm gonna kill him before the things, like, reach. Wow. 1200... Oh, oh, that's the greedy option. I don't think you need spell damage, Boss Javelin. I'm doing the damage. I am the damage. I really should take that one, but God damn! Yeah, bang. And there we go. We can sell this, for example. Whatever we need. Overclocked is sweating right now. Uh oh, there's double siege on that side. Where are you going? Just make your mind up. How much is this healing? 300 hit points. I think we need the spell reduction. There we go. Could just keep taking the summons as well. Maybe when there's like a no good option. Option. See that banshee curse. Might be okay though, because I attack so quick. This poor little guy is getting all the brunt. Great all abilities. Like I keep getting movement speed after that. But I don't think no. Just upgrade all abilities. Any claws stacking? Unholy Aura is helping him out. Time to buy another item soon. Just a random item. Yes, please. Let's see if this kills me. 
<laughs> 19,000 damage. Actually, it doesn't hit me, does it? It hits the enemy, but honestly, just to be on the safe side, I'm not going to use it. There's another snake. I gotta kill the snake. Oh. Hmm. That is all useless apart from that one, just to sell them. Abilities, 91, life steal. I might even go for the life steal. When I can. I don't know if I should stack these all actually. Because I can sell them as individual. Keep it. They forgot to send mobs on the left hand side. Oh, my summon, do you see that? They prioritize these poor little guys over my uh, pocket factory. Uh, he's got to be kind of ridiculous now. He's actually legitimately underneath. One attack cooldown. With this item, even better. Four attacks per second. Because it's 400% attack speed, isn't it? The, the attack speed cap. And then if my attack cooldown is one, then yeah. Basically, four times faster than one. Critical Strike doesn't increase that much, but it goes up to 3 at the max. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Even the armor thing for the uh, summons could be... ...potentially good. They got 50 armor actually, never mind. This is on use, the shield, yeah. Upgrade true shot aura. Minus attack cooldown, don't mind, never do. Is this game going to run out of things to give me? That I can actually use? The attack cooldown one's going to be funny, because that's going to be harder and harder to get that down to, like, zero. Kill the long range one, then you sort of reposition yourself in between there and there. So you're close enough to the tower to. This guy's a thing of beauty. Tick tock. 4,500 health summons, that's pretty big. Ah, uh, you can just take that for money, but. I don't know if I ever want to take that. Obviously, I can get the movement speed back. But if I just get the ones that's like 1.6 times base damage, 
if that's what it was normally doing, wasn't it? I think at some point, then I get way more than the four seven five from there. I'll just take the summons. Oh, the air. I don't know how that's going to work. Actually, you can unhook the archer. I'm just camping my summons around there. I'm not seeing any BS mechanics where the mobs can like one-shot the pillar for like, if I don't pay attention for like one millisecond. Even with splash damage or something, that would be really hot, bro. Any overclocks in chat? Oh, there it is again. Days. He left week three. <laughs> He lost all his money. He didn't have any more money to bet. Have you guys not thumbs up the video yet on YouTube? What are you doing? Type in the YouTube comments why you haven't done it. And see if you have a good enough excuse for yourself. Okay. That one archer, she is slowly working her way on that corrupted treant. Corrupted treant's got a limited time. Uh, you can just keep taking these, and they can help me clear as well. What have I got now? I've got some healers, but the heal is probably tiny, right? Yeah, it's pretty small. It's not actually minuscule, it's like 30 to 40, which is way more than that would normally do. That's right. Oh, there's the entangle. I think one of my archers is getting killed. Keep getting entangled. Twenty percent slowed attack cooldown for oh wow, I've never seen that before. So that's a nerf to me for more health. Uh just take the base damage. Lol, 151 base damage. I got this now. Upon taking lethal damage, sacrifice a random friendly summon. That's never gonna work though. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, 1.2 times agility. I think you have to take that. As much as I want that 5%. Actually, there wasn't... Was that only like a thousand? I suppose it's only like a thousand. A thousand damage now? It's like, oh, it's, it's okay. I'm just shrugging off a thousand damage. Your factory is the Chad. Agility is good for the armor, though. True. One point. So that's twenty percent of my strength. I'm gonna go with the attack call down because that's gonna be the hard one now to do. Back into life steal. Although to be honest, it might just be attack cooldown every single time now. I wanted to get enough life steal earlier though to make sure I just don't die. Thank you. 
Yar. Seventy five K. Seventy five K crit. Oh. Couldn't have got much better. Just take that, I can clear the levels quicker. I don't think those stack, do they? I'm not sure this is even doing much. Oh, I can buy in time. You're right there, overclocked. The axe doesn't do anything. How dare you! That plus 80 damage is making a massive difference. It's working with both Commander and True Shot, and there's massive value from that. How dare you! Spend all gold. I bought the item just beforehand. Spend all gold, baby. Ah. Could just buy the tomes of strength. This is massive plus eighty damage. Do a save just in case I disconnect or something. I suppose it's got to end at some point, right, isn't it? Maybe disconnect is the one way to end it. I don't think there's been a more successful run on this map. Oh my gosh. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> what are we doing with this? So much stuff. I'll put the more expensive items on the outside so I can identify them a bit better. Cool down next. Uh, yep. Yep. Look at that one. It's like for 25% of your current health to deal damage in an area around your hero equal to 50% of your maximum health. That's actually incredibly strong. But if it killed me because of some weird bug, that could be a problem. Still, my auto attacks is almost better just to do that. It's all about the position of the auto attack now. The A move. Making sure the efficiency of gliding in between the mobs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Monstrous. I didn't even get that much agility or strength per level, really, in total. Oh no. Here we go. Leave my summons alone. Almost killed my hippo rider. Hippo. 
Oh, I was just about to buy something. One, 6,800 health. I'll just upgrade all abilities. What's the dung noise? Was there a 1.2 agility? I didn't see it. I'll... Oh, he's run out of mana. I was going to say, those guys would be pretty good with their heal. Those big white numbers. Merry Christmas. It's like snow falling. It is Christmas. Life steal, thank you very much. 32% life steal now. Spells are capped to level 10, yes. You can have splash that Hydra, so... Get rid of him sometimes. I've lost more and more of those little summons. Two summons. It's more base damage. I think you just take the summons. <laughs> you got the cold arrow. Bolius. Thank you very much. Look at him go, that snake. This guy always goes crazy. Thought I'd put you on hold position. Uh, hey, I had something to, sp to spend on. We're down to 0. 0.646 normally. That's a pig, by the way. Christmas ham. My right eye is slowly developing more of a headache whilst playing this. Uh, yeah. Why not? There it is. Why not? Just a bit more damage. It's gone up to 82. We could take that, actually. Oh, it's not enough time. Shit. That was the one item I actually was interested in for the pocket factory. Damn it. That was actually one of the best items. But I didn't react quickly enough. I gotta think about what I wanna sell. Yeah, I could have sold that. Hundred and thirty two thousand crit.
I still need like a thousand ish damage. Keep thinking I'll get more from that, but. I don't think I need this item anymore, unless there's something that's going to change. I can sell all the items on the left hand side if I need to. Whoa, look at this guy go. I'll never get rid of this axe, it's too good. for dinner. Let's go, boys. Another hour? Nothing that really <laughs> makes any difference. I don't even need the goal. I could have got the 26, but I just don't even need it. Take all down. Oh! That's 1.5 agility. That cooldown was pretty tempting there. I was just trying to buy a more expensive item, but I ended up getting this cheap healing ward. I assume their spells do more damage as well, so they just do like one spell, I can one shot one of my summons. I wonder how useful Serpent Wars would be if you kept going to summon damage. I think I've broken the map. Gotta get rid of the other Carl. You know he's the most dangerous one. I haven't seen too many offers to actually increase the, the pillar health. That was ages ago when I last did that. Point four eight one. It's going to get so agonizing to get that down. I could have made him attack me, but I 
I don't really want anything to screw me over just in case. He should be able to do like any damage if he did. I got level 10 on everything. Oh, there we go. Huh? Okay to go. Okay to go. Is he splashing onto that? I think he is. I think they can still splash onto the pillar. Cheeky sods. 28 shadow orb fragments. Is there even a cap to that? We just take the mob difficulty just to go faster. This is kind of a sub fun, isn't it? Need more subs though to make it a sub -a fun. I'll just save it and then I'll load it again when I do a proper sub -a fun. He's a little turret, isn't he? He's truly surpassed any spell casting. Someone's are actually beating them up because I got four thousand two hundred health. We gotta take that one now. Furby. You make it to week twenty, I'll add an end into this map. Okay. summons. That rain of fire. All of my summons. Well, not quite all dead, but they took a lot of damage. Eh? Slight backfire of getting the summons, maybe. Spend all gold. I thought it might be a spend all gold. I was thinking about buying another item, but... Ah, oh, as much as I love the strength, I think you just take that. Another round? There's another spend all gold. I should have bought another item in that, between that time, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm getting lazy now. I'm getting lazy. Got the lightning javelin, so you can try that out. I'm not even seeing the lightning javelin. Is it because he's registering that they're dead before the fourth hit even hits? Because technically he's landing like four hits, but they're dead when the first hit lands. So I don't think he <laughs> can do anything with lightning javelin.
Man, am I only getting like a thousand gold for some of those? I was going to see those stack. I'm 99.9% .9 sure they don't. No, they don't. I wish I could get more movement speed. That would be like super valuable now at this point. Why did they have to cap the movement speed in this game? Like, that's quick, but it's not that quick. Like, it would still take me... How long did it take me? Like, one, two, three, four... Like, four seconds of travel from there to there. You could have still gone... Like, why would they have cap the movement speed? What, what were they worried about? They could cap it at like a thousand, even a thousand five hundred, and that would probably be probably be definitely like stupidly fast at that point. But five hundred twenty-two is quick, but it's not like so quick I can't register it. Warcraft two goes bloody faster if you play in the fastest difficulty. Wow. May as well just do the spell damage one. That doesn't make much of a difference now. Wait, healing ward. Isn't that going to be quite good for my summons? Okay kind of. That's kind of mediocre healing. It's 2%, but I feel like they should be getting more health than that. On 2%. I'm playing zoomed out, yes, but still, even then, you could easily be faster. You're right there, Hive and Nick. How are you doing? You want to hold hands or something? And just say all is forgiven. Some of Nick's Danish blood kicking in there. Where were you from again, Hive? Belgium. Okay. Make the nicest chocolate. Mum and dad are fighting again. If they just killed you with carrying swarm. like a um, tidal wave crushing wave that's the one this is gonna be a you could get like an extra 60 damage in summons do we really care that's 8600 health that's pretty big boy how long does he last though oh yeah indefinite It's 
so much to fight, and I can only be in so many places at the same time. Did they kill the 8,600 health summon? Yeah, I think they did. One of the strongest items now. I should probably reduce the difficulty to be honest with you, but XD. Where's those life healing wards? That is now super value. I can't believe it took too long that long to find that item actually. I think the main reason to reduce the difficulty of the uh, enemies is that it spawns less of them. It takes me less time to get through the next day. Not too many of them now. The healing wards are a lie. But they're cheap. I might try that skull. Oh, I clicked it! Millisecond off. Darn. VIP lasts as long as I get s until I get sick of you. All of those rewards are kind of rubbish now. Just gotta take that. Whoa, look how much health they got. Is that a glitch? Or is that all my. the plus 1280 and stuff like that, or plus percentage? 17,000 health. Oh, that's a bit better. Try Inferno Stone. Spend all gold again. Nah, there we go. He's got 1500 health. I don't. Oh, yeah, this is 50%. So, yeah, that is one of the best. You want to get more of those then, basically. I don't even think I really need help with battle first anymore, do I? Let's face it. It's kind of ridiculous. It is the only thing that can get me down to like 0.1 pretty much more easily. His attack animation is so good anyway, the far. Get a random artifact. What'd it be? Was it that? I mean, a spell shield? I think it was. No. 
That's too much crap. Ah, oh, not enough mana. I actually need mana. Got mana issues. Who would have thought? I might have to just start, like, getting flat intelligence. There's rewards. Oh, there's another good item. I can't buy it in time. Oh! You just made me pick something. I didn't see it. That's the first time I did it. It doesn't happen quite so much. Anyway. Dear, oh dear. How the hell is this not reset yet? There's something glitchy about my attack cooldown not making this work. Basic attacks have a 7% chance to reset all cooldowns. I mean, if you attack this quickly, it would have reset within like the first half a second. Did it work? I'm starting to think that might be like a 0.1% chance. There's kill maim. That's the life steal thing. But we don't need that anymore. Just take the mob. Uh, summon damage is somewhat tempting, so they can kill a bit quicker, but... I need to spawn less. I got too much crap, I got too much crap, we got too much crap. Oh god, that was a bad time to try to work out what I was doing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That worked out quite well actually in that position. Hold on, the skulls. So many skulls. They're killing my summons. We baby know. Summons damage. Attack call down. Yes, please. Rumorok. Thank you very much there for the sham. Spend all gold, yes, please. Don't mind everything. I'm gonna drop this crap. So I can pick up all of these. Enough of the crap on the ground. Inventory is full. Full. Thirty-three demonic figurines. Are you kidding me? I don't think I need this anymore, even though that's like plus attack damage. That's technically a really good item if we actually needed it. I think you just need anything and everything that's like a summon or a reset of summons. Or percentage increased health of summons. Those are like the best items now. I'm going to drop this at the top right so I don't just get rid of it for the sake of it. But I'm losing my mind where everything is. Let's just take the summons damage. Enchanted shield, we don't need that anymore. Sell that. Infinity time is really good. And I'll take this so I don't get stunned. Point three seven. 
Nice. Managed to find that in time. Kind of a shame he didn't get just a little bit more in. He didn't really didn't need too much, just enough to keep this going. Oh my god, and it resets. And then you can do it again. That actually stacks with that then. So you can get four of those. So those are the ultimate items. The Inferno Stone, not so much. Yeah. I'll have to start, well, I might have to start prioritizing those intelligence options. Eventually. Minus 50% max health. I think this is like, you have to have this. Those stupid demonic figurines. 20 second cooldown, it shares. Oh, it resets the cooldown on amulet, the spell shield. Okay, we're definitely holding on to that now. Summons damage. I might take it to be honest. Oh, that's brutal. Going down to 22,000. I feel almost naked now. He's got 72,000 damage. Ah, oh, sorry, there was an end time again. I guess I've got some sort of passive blocker on ignoring it. I'll try an acid bomb. Did he just one-shot that guy? No. It's not that much damage. It's definitely doing a lot of damage, but not that much. I played Age of Mythology, yeah, when I was younger. I didn't like it as much because I preferred Age of Empires 2 in that, so I was a bit disappointed, even though I was really into Greek mythology in that. Okay. Want to buy more mana? Maybe, yeah. Yeah! I can't do that. I was going to sell the demonic figurine and buy a bunch more. Time of intelligence is actually kind of pog now. See you later, Naga. Even though the difficulty is that high, if you just get like the minus difficulty, it seems to reduce the amount of mods by quite a bit. Summons damage. Let's just do that. I could do that one. Yeah. But it's like I say, it wasn't so many. Yeah, at this point, we just need to go fast. Time of strength. Make your mind up. Which character's got like the quickest attack animation? What's my record on this map? What do you think it is? 
probably this. Ah, oh, that's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> Still got one hippo left. Time of intelligence. Damn it. Needed a clicker for that. Should be time of intelligence plus two at this stage. I don't know. Attack speed of summons is nice. It's not. It's not one of those necessary survival things. Strength, strengthy boy. Anyone that predicted against me has lost everything. That's what you get. I keep pressing F2 for my second slot, thinking it's the hell of battle first. Time of intelligence. Oh, mate. That's crazy. That is... A, no, is it actually that much? Hmm, maybe not. It's my base attack that does the best. Anyway, yeah, just do this. Got a fair bit of intelligence there. Boy Carl, just mad spitting facts that people just can't handle. I got 47% life steal as well. got the war glaives he ain't got the moon glaives but yeah moon glaive can bounce attacks you don't get traits in this seventeen thousand health on each of these clockwork goblins three hundred and seventy K crit If I was quick enough, I'd only need to do one attack and then move to the next mob. But he attacks so fast, I don't know how I can cancel it quickly enough. It'd just be clunky if I did it. I'm still tempted on this item. Just to run into them and blow myself up. I'd have to save it before I do it, though, just in case it bugs and kills me or something. Oh yeah, the helm that gives mana. I just, I'm okay buying intelligence. Because eventually I'll get there where I can just afford to do Pocket Factory, like, four times in a row. But we're not there yet. Let's see if we could just auto-attack now. Like if I come over here and go... Kind of... 
It does kill like four mobs at the same time, but then the time I spend running over there, it could have just auto attacks my way. So unless they're really close together. Time of power doesn't do anything anymore. 270 armor. Oh gosh. that worry. Uh, needs to worry about it that much. It's got such a small radius. Damage return on the pillar. I wonder if Soda, Soda Poppin could handle this map. the skull, it didn't seem that impactful. I thought it might be more impactful on this boss level than anything. What level would I be right now if there wasn't a cat? all gold, there it is. 38 times pouch of intelligence. I'm almost tempted to take that because I was complaining a lot, but I'm so greedy. I just sold a bunch. I'm just going to buy a bunch more intelligence the next time it comes up. Yeah, I feel like he's still got this hippo left. Why is this one hippo like the true champion out of all of them? They just don't care about hippos at all. They've got like super low attack priority for the enemy. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Oh! That's your boy. There it is. We're good now. I think I got everything I need. These have got 22,000. I think it's because it only counts as one hit. Every attack is just one hit. You see what I mean? That's why Infinity Claws doesn't always proc. So it's a 7% chance, and technically, even though I'm hitting that many times. It's only one hit per mob, so if I hit, I don't know, seven mobs, what is that, 42 or something? Oh, I've got such a headache now.
Pillars on 17,000 health. My crit's gone down, I think. No, I don't know actually, that's gone up. Because I'm not using the skull, so I'm losing about 35% extra damage or something. I haven't team killed the pillar yet. Wow, point two fifteen. It's really uh That's really down there. I don't think there's going to be anything after this map, to be honest with you, Stain of Wood. Probably just have pizza after this. I think we've got enough intelligence now, actually, but... I just need to get the minus 25% difficulty every single turn now. That's the ultimate um, nerf to the enemy mobs. See how much health they got now. 28k on those. 35k on the pocket factory. If he's. I guess the best thing would be to have a character whose projectile is like instant. Because at the moment he still wastes a fair bit of time just. Um, Attacking, standing there attacking, waiting for the things to land. I think there needs to be a reward for me reaching level 20, not a punishment. I was going to attack up move up here and I did but the character here was putting a buff on that character and I think he prioritized killing that one more so than actually attacking up there the actual act of casting a spell on an ally really ticked my character off easily killing the sacred killer super easy. That would be like the one thing that could just cheese kill you. Lethal Company. Sounds like a Call of Duty game or something. I don't even need to look at the other ones. I'll just take that. It's just another thing that can do damage. Ooh, Although it's unfortunately melee. It would be better if it's ranged. Mm. 
multiplayer horror game. Huh. Was it like that Friday night? So not that one. Um, what's the one with the dude with the mask in there? The sword. Machete. Jason King Simulator. I never watched that movie, but should do it at some point. The one where he kills all the kids at the base camp or something. No. But yeah, Friday the 13th, that's it. Didn't they do a video game on that? But it didn't receive super well. That's what it is. <sighs> is there any point even spinning? Just do that. Come on, summons. You gotta kill them all. Too dangerous. I don't think I can reset Infinity Claws attacking my own stuff. Maybe I try attacking a pillar and do it. Blink could be quite a good ability for me now. Or Mirror Image. I didn't actually get Mirror Image. That's basically the best ability in this game, isn't it? Mirror Image. Imagine Mirror Image. Having several of me just spread out. That would be insane. I'll, I'll go to week 20, and then I guess I just stop after that, because, I mean, I don't think anyone's got this far, and I don't think anyone can get this far, or at least, what can you do at this point? I've evolved into a god at this point. I've transcended my corporeal form. Finish week 20. Okay, fair enough. Just grab all the difficulty. I've been trying to reduce it so I get less mobs. So I can go quicker. I'm not sure. I don't even know if I could increase the difficulty enough for it to actually... My character's like so stacked at this point. It doesn't scale enough to how powerful I've made my character. It did before, in the early stages, but at this point, I don't think you could get it to a level where it's really going to be able to match me. Did you guys like that One Piece on Netflix? The live action um, adaption. I thought it was quite good, actually. There were some complaints I had about it. Some jank, but I thought it was entertaining to watch. Let's see what the artifact is. You never know. Heart of a scene. <laughs> Not really. That's when you cast spells, it heals you. How much 
how much damage do the enemy waves? Uh, not now. About, about 1300 damage. There was one bit where the live action did it exceptionally well. As well as you can do for live action. Was the warlord guy with the giant sword. I thought that was by far the best bit. Where he's just fucking going ape shit, destroying the armies. There's so many bosses now. These are doing 6,000 damage. There we go. Cleaned them up. Big cross guard in Dracula, yeah, style. I like that guy. Can't use him too much though, because he's clearly OP. Point one three five. I'll put the helmet battle first on. Point zero nine. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's glitching. Okay, that's the new item to put back on. It's the projectile that's the problem, though, still, isn't it? 44 attacks per second. It's point one two four. Point point zero eight three. Sorry. I like it. It looks like he's glitching. Do you remember one of those hero RPG maps we played? And it had like a panda and a blade master, and they were fighting each other for the cinematic. And they were attacking like 0 0.001 per second. And they were doing that for like all eternity. Point one zero nine. Point zero seven three. You remember when you guys thought I was going to lose in the first week or the second week? It's just a stream of poison coming out at this point. Looks like a completely different hero when he attacks like that. It also gets reset by that, which is a fun thing. Is gold even for? Oh, yeah, 404 armor. Good point.
Oh, this summon's still going. Alright, watch out. Plus three difficulty level. Some eye drops in. Maybe I should have taken the spell damage. It's the pain I'm feeling. Pain this. I don't think I'll ever have to make an apology video. Because I don't think I'll ever be able to screw up as much as those other YouTubers do. That's like a challenge. Hold my beer. Apologize for being too good. I think I already did that. Gonna make it to week 20. Oh my god. And then we clear week 20 and then we call it a day. Because I think that this sexy snack can't get any more stronger. I like resetting this. Keep this going. Good thing is the pillar's got loads of armor as well. So attacks on it won't do that much damage. Do I even need pocket factory now? Hippogriff's still alive. Keep the hippogriff alive. Spend all gold again. Ah, uh, whatever. I didn't want to increase the difficulty because I just want less to kill. Only got one more week to get through. Oh, point one attack cooldown. Zero point six. Wait, zero point zero six seven. Yes, I saw that one, Chichoff. I mean, it was a creative apology. I'll give her that. But I think she was missing the point. I think that's kind of the issue. Is That's why a lot of those apology videos don't necessarily work. It's because the people that are apologizing don't actually truly feel like they've done anything wrong. In their heads, they don't understand. Hey, this guy healed up quite nicely. 720 health from heal now on this. Twenty five K on the pillar. Mafog. What's that apology video? Conor McGregor. I'm sure Conor McGregor has a very good apology video. I better not play it just in case copyright might get me or something, but I can play it afterwards. Oh, 
That's funny. I put the acid bomb. Well, I was going to see how much damage it did. And then my snake just auto killed him. Monofo! Wants those greed coins. Chichov's holding out. the spell damage, because why not? Let's see it now. Boys will be boys. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's doing it's like 700 damage a second now. It could be a way to kill up a bunch of these mobs, actually. I should have done more spell damage. Although, to be fair, we've always been taking attack cooldown, because... Look at the spell damage now. For Acid Bomb, it's quite useful. Acid Bomb is becoming useful again. There's something missing. Those numbers. Acid bomb might be enough to reach anything that's hiding. I was wondering if this was going to happen. Maybe you stop triggering it, so it just stops at this point. Are you even seeing any mobs? That actually might be the end of the game. Maybe he did put an end to the game. I'll have to use the cheat. Um, who's your daddy or whatever. To be fair, this guy's so strong he could actually go out there. I think... What was my... My last save wasn't too long ago, was it? Oh, I see dead, dead people. Uh, I'm not seeing any mobs. Not immediately on the minimap. If I change the colours, normally that would make them go bright red or something. You can't move on to the next level if there's nothing left to kill. I'll load up, because I reckon it could have been... S oh. Oh, no. Maybe there was some sort of summon or something. That's what I was going to say. If you killed a summon in a certain way or a certain order, it might have stopped it from triggering that there was actually a... This run doesn't count now. I've used cheats. I've automatically been disqualified. The corpse just decayed. <laughs> Could be that. I was wondering if it was some sort of scuffed order of attacking summons. Where it didn't register that there was anything truly left alive properly. So it's just eye candy now. It's been eye candy for a while. Didn't see the sheep looking thing travel downward on the southwest. I didn't see that. Those are just critters, I suppose. If it was a hostile, it would have showed up on the minimap as a little uh, red color or something. Yeah, whatever. I'll still take that one because it's funny. Or it's more greedy. Kind of tempted. Come on, bro. Come at me. Just immediately aggro them. So they come to the quick, the middle quicker. The 
four packet. But I mean, I think this is the ultimate items you can have, isn't it? I think we've really reached peak practical items. You've always got to press stop or interrupt as soon as you've cast an ability so you can move straight away again and reactivate. Just for you tryhards out there that are still trying to learn the game after about two hours plus into this video. This is where you get your tryhard advice typically used for more competitive gameplay. Bigger number, better person. I was hoping for a minus attack cooldown, but what are you going to do? Yeah, I'll take the summon damage because nothing else really makes a difference now. Enjoy the show. I got plus fifteen hundred damage. Wow, look at that. Is that the screenshot? To be fair, I'd use a different thing for my thumbnails. If not, that could have been a screenshot. No one would understand it. Looks like a Korean MMO or something. Or one of those Korean RPG maps. There it is, boys. He's become too powerful. To the point where even I don't want to use the gold. Let's go for a swim. It's like the end of uh, Pig Farm Survival. If you made it to this point of the video, again, make sure to thumbs up the video if you haven't done so already. I appreciate that. And leave a YouTube comment saying, wow, Witty is the greatest. It's just fantastic. His channel's the best. I really love this guy. He's amazing. Who doesn't like Witty? W-T-I-I. And don't forget twitch.tv slash Witty, where you can come and support me by either donating or by requesting a custom game that will cost you £13.37 if you wish to do that anything in particular you want to play other than massive RPG maps like that going to take six hours or something We oh no I lost damn oh well can only get so far GG week 21 going on week infinity <laughs> and there's always patreon.com slash witty warcraft if you want to just donate something as well per month and that also all helps contribute to the pot that keeps me going so I appreciate that thank you very much for watching sorry I didn't go any further in case those of you that really did and I'm sure there's a few people like, oh why didn't you just keep going I, I think even going to like week 20 at this point was like kind of overkill but there you go the attack cooldown would be the main goal is to get that down to like zero but the amount of times you would actually have to reduce the attack cooldown to truly get zero, I'm not even sure if it's possible or it would be like another 50, 50 clicks, maybe more. It would be a lot because it reduces it by, was it 10%? So you can never get to zero, says Nick. Yeah, you can never truly get it to zero, but we got it pretty damn close. Yeah. Anyway, thank you again for watching. There's the uh, enemy score. Much better than my hero score, but not good enough to take me down. 3,206 units killed during that escapade. How long was the game? Those are the levels of the heroes. Killed 169 heroes. Obtained 238 items. Hired one mercenary. That's all it took. 
97% tech. Oh, yeah, it was two hours and 11 minutes. Wow, that was a long time. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching.